Hello all truth seekers. In this video, I will be talking about Shanquilla Robinson. What really happened? Who's responsible? A deeper look. Please note that this is all alleged. I've never met any of these people. I've deeply researched all of my information. Here we go again. I mean, this is the truth show oh, and there's more. Oh, I'm not done yet. Oh, and there's more. Oh, I'm not done yet. I mean, this is the truth show. Oh, yes. This is a trigger warning. In this video, I may be talking about or showing sensitive material about some subjects or topics that may be disturbing or upsetting or may bring forth some troubling memories, as you've read in the description or title. With that said, either in the video now or brace yourself. Aside from that, enjoy. On October 28th, Shanquilla Robinson, a 25-year-old from Charlotte, North Carolina, arrived in the town of San Jose de la Cabo a resort city on the southern tip of Mexico, Baja California, Peninsula, with six friends. The next day, she was found dead in the rental property where they were staying. Nearly a month after the untimely death of Shanquilla Robinson, the investigation continues to unfold. As of November 28th, the Mexican police have called for extradition of the individual they are questioning as the suspect in her murder. Attorney General for Baja California Sir Daniel De La Rosa claims, and I quote, the extradition process for this suspect was underway. There is already an arrest warrant issued for the crime of femicide. We are already carrying out all the relevant procedures, both the Interpol file and the extradition request. Oh, here's the definition of femicide. Femicide indicates the killing of a woman because of her gender. Now, the Attorney General provided his thoughts on the death of the 25-year-old after reviewing the video of her attack. Hey, don't miss out. Click the subscribe and like button. Also, don't forget the bell button and then select all so that you can get notifications for every video I upload on the Truth Show channel and the Truth Show channel deluxe. Never miss out, y'all. They stated that the death did not result from a quarrel. Instead, it resulted from the direct aggression that this person made. According to De La Rosa, prosecutors consult with federal government officials in both countries regarding the request. The arrest warrant does not list a suspect by name. However, De La Rosa stated that the documents indicate that a friend was allegedly responsible for Robinson's death. Although Mexican authorities are stepping in legalities still allow the U.S. to have jurisdiction in the case. Oh, yes. It seems that if you go overseas and another American citizen untimely kills an American citizen, there is a statute that could provide for prosecution in this country. Oh, yes. The FBI field office in Robinson's hometown of Charlotte, North Carolina, has also opened an investigation. While the investigation continues, Robinson's family awaits more information from authorities. As we all know, the death of Robinson gained mass attention after the video surfaced online. While on vacation in San Jose de la Cabo with friends, she was deceased within 24 hours of her arrival. Her group returned to their homes without her reporting that she passed away after exhibiting signs of alcohol poisoning. But an autopsy soon revealed that the young entrepreneur suffered a broken neck and cracked spine at her death. In mid-November, a video of Robinson engaged in physical altercation with another woman went viral. An identified male voice behind the camera could be heard encouraging Robinson to fight back. However, Robinson continuously declined to fight. Robinson was seen covering her face and trying to avoid the altercation as the woman continued to pummel her in the face and head. <laughs> you see, I was reluctant to cover this story because it brought back bad memories. If you read my online journal on my blog, you would have read that I got into many fights growing up, especially with girls, and many of them were group fights. I didn't get along with most girls, not sure why. I hardly spoke to any of them. I stayed to myself most of the time and didn't gossip. Anyway, doing this and watching the video 
this fight video was so hard and I tried to avoid doing this video because if I wasn't so overly protected by my not sure where we stand husband and the guys and goddesses depending on your beliefs I would have been Robinson paying for a trip with my friends or family and then getting into a fight for unknown reasons I would have fought back though but sometimes I didn't because it usually made them angrier and the fight continued you know or in some cases you get tired of fighting off haters and violent females and being willing to sacrifice yourself by letting them beat you up and just get it over with okay you hate me not sure why just hit me and then leave me alone significantly you know if you're outnumbered oh and also I hate fighting I'm not too fond of the dark place I go to I get demonic and black out sometimes and I sometimes just freeze up and don't do anything maybe that's what happened to her with that said I saw that in the video she was nude and I may understand but I'm afraid I must disagree with sleeping that way especially on vacation however it seems this was premeditated and these weren't her friends they were what I like to call flower snakes they hide behind a facade and wait for the perfect time to attack there may have been signs of them not enjoying Robinson but she may have ignored it or didn't notice she may have loved the friendship and companionship hey my truth seekers did you know that I have a blog a blog that I post personally selected stories onto I also have an online journal where I give you a peek at my personal life and more so please go to the truth show channel dot blog all the links are below Digeny Jackson, may have mispronounced her name, I'm sorry, friend of Shanquilla Robinson was allegedly found brutally attacking her alleged friend Robinson. I will give more information about that later. Suspect 2. At the same time, some unknown male videotapes the incident and is heard asking Shanquilla to fight back. Four other suspects who has also allegedly and conveniently removed their social media profiles so the authorities have been leaning more toward them as well. The actions of these individuals let me know that this was a setup. They were hoping to beat this poor girl up in Mexico, across the border, post a video, get paid, and be done with it. They figured this is in Mexico and Robinson is black, so we give them, well, them being her best friend, Khalil Cook, gave stupid excuses such as alcohol poisoning and figured hey that's it they won't care but that wasn't the case and people cared robinson is a very beautiful girl and all it took was a popular blog or channel to talk about this case for it to go viral which is good i wish other black death cases get this much attention this case reminds me of kanika jenkins and temla horsford they were both found dead while out with friends. May they rest in peace and justice finally get served for them as well and many others. Moving along here. Guess what, my truth seekers? Did you know that you can get exclusive commercial free videos on my Patreon? I post my viral and block YouTube videos on there and more and stories that I wrote. You know, I write stories, people. Oh, yes. I post them on there. I'm going to start doing my video diary on there pretty soon. <laughs> Yeah, I need to communicate with my truth seekers. They are lifesavers. I love you all. Oh, okay, I'm supposed to be advertising my Patreon. The link is below. According to the Charlotte Observer, a police report shows that a doctor saw Robinson after someone called for medical help at the vacation home on October 29th. The doctor found Robinson with stable vital signs, but she was dehydrated and unable to communicate. The doctor was told that Robinson had drunk much alcohol, According to the police report, while the doctor wanted to take Robinson to the hospital, her friends insisted that she be treated at the vacation home. The doctor tried to give her an intravenous line before she began to have a seizure. At that point, one of Robinson's friends called for an ambulance, per observer. And then at 4.49 p.m., when the doctor detected no pulse, she and one of Robinson's friends began giving her CPR paramedics administered more rounds of CPR and adrenaline and discharges from a defibrillator Robinson was pronounced dead at 5 57 p.m. an arrest warrant has been issued for one of Robinson friends named 
Digeny Jackson, may I have mispronounced her name, police have not officially confirmed. Okay, I'm putting this insert in here. This is my analysis about Shanquilla Robinson. After analyzing everything, you know, and getting so freaking frustrated, this took me on an emotional trip. This was worse than the Tamala Horsford. Reason being, you know, like I said in the video, I got into so many fights. So many fights. You have no idea. Because of jealous girls, girls plotting, group fights, you name it. It's, it's crazy. And I'm the nicest person in the world. I would give the shirt off my back. I will feed you. I will house you. I am just, just the sweetest person. I don't gossip unless it's here on TikTok. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I don't mean to be mean about everything. I just say what I read, you know, in my opinion. But sometimes I get my opinion. But normally I'm just reading from blogs. And I tell you that I'm reading it from a blog. And just get my opinion from the blog I read. You know what I mean? It's all alleged. I never met any of those people. They know that. So that's besides the point. In this particular case with Shanquilla, after researching everything, I'm going to be honest with you. As I said in the video several times, but I'm going to say this. And I didn't say this in the beginning of the video, but Shanquilla was an entrepreneur. As I said, a lot of people don't know what she did, but she did hair braiding judging from her social media i didn't put that in the video sorry it's hard to put together videos and research it i do work because believe it or not my pay my page my twitter page every page that i have is completely fucking hacked and now i have the fraud team in my job wondering what's going on with my insurance now because they're saying something is really going on with your insurance so they trying to get into my work now Long story. So this hacker is really, I don't know who the fuck this hacker is, but they're really trying to ruin me. <laughs> but they are barking up their own tree because now you mess with billion dollar corporations and they don't play that shit. So maybe this is a good thing. Maybe they'll finally get caught. But anyway, getting besides the point. But Shanquilla was an entrepreneur. She did hair braiding and judging from her social media, she was very good at it. And she was doing clothing design, I believe. It was one page where she was presenting clothing and um, a whole bunch of other stuff. She was just involved in a lot of things, a lot of things. I don't know how long she'd been doing it, but apparently she was doing it very well because that resort, that um, Cabo little vacation spot that she rented out, it came with a private chef. It came with um, a valet, which means it had their private driver and all of that. And it cost a lot of money, a lot of money to stay there. And she was footing the whole freaking bill. The girl had money. I don't know where she had the money from. I, I guess you make a lot of money doing hair braiding and selling clothing design. And I'm not sure what else she was doing, but she was doing it. And judging from her social media, she was doing a lot of touring. You know, touring in terms of vacationing in Jamaica. She was vacationing here. I think she went to... Vegas, I think. I'm not sure. But she was just going everywhere. I mean, with her friends and judging from the video footage I was seeing, they was having a ball, you know, drinking and eating and going to little festivals and things of that nature. I didn't really see her drink too much in them. Like she had a drink or two, but she didn't seem intoxicated or incoherent. She's like a girl having fun or whatever. But that's what I, I was seeing there. And she was doing it. A girl was doing her thing. Yeah, she was a very beautiful girl. And judging from what I'm seeing for the video, it seems that Khalil, was that his name? Khalil was the one who said why she's not fighting back, but he wasn't trying to help her at all. And it was another girl there, I believe, and she would look like she was FaceTiming someone while uh, Shanquilla was getting beat up, I'm assuming, by Dejanay, or Dejanay, however she pronounced her name. She, I think that was the name, but then it was leaked that winter ford or winter ford or what freaking her name is the light-skinned girl looked like she was also a contributor to um shanquilla dying apparently she fought shanquilla after dejane did and threw up against the wall and they were acting <sighs> mm. and then i saw another video footage from before I think it was the day before they, was, they came from Shanquilla's phone. I'm not sure how it got leaked or whatever. 
where they were all in another room and she walked in there and it looked like they were talking about something. I'm not sure what they were talking about, but it seemed that they were plotting. You know what I mean? And I just got a strong instinct feeling that this is premeditated and they knew what they were going to do before they went to um, Mexico. I don't know what the beef was. I don't know how this all led to, oh, let's go to Mexico and get this girl, beat her up, take her money. I don't even like this B-I-T-C-H. She thinks she this, she thinks she that. And it's Mexico. They don't freaking care about black people in Mexico, you know. We cross the border. Let's just do this and we just hop, go back to America, make up some cockamamie story. Mexico is not going to freaking care. They don't freaking care. Who cares? Her mom don't care. Who the fuck cares? That's what they... I believe had intentions on this is all legit had intentions on trying to do beating her up taking her money and leaving. and I think it was all based on jealousy and she seemed like this very nice open-hearted girl judged from what her family says and her videos and things of that nature just young living it up but she just didn't know who her friends were her friends were some ruthless hardcore <laughs> demons judging from what I'm seeing the way they was beating her up, that was pure hatred. That was pure hatred. There was They hated her. And judging from how brutal they was, because it was told from the autopsy that her eye was busted. Her lip was split like her eye was busted, like a blood vessel was literally busted in her, in her eye. And her lip was busted. And she had a big knot in her head. And not to mention her spine was broken or something like that. And her neck, I believe, was dislocated or something like that which means they were literally beating the hell out of her they beat the fuck out of her and that's so fucked up and she was naked you know and they stood by and watched and they plan on recording this and sharing this like everything is copacetic and didn't even care they didn't even try to stop her they didn't even try to do anything because they really did not care when someone can do that your so-called friend getting beat up and you're saying why you're not fighting back knowing she's literally getting her ass whooped like really really bad that, that is not a friend. That means they are garden snakes. And what I like to call them flower snakes. Because they pretend to be your friend, but they wait, like I said in the video, but they wait for the perfect time to snap at you. You know what I mean? And that's what these girls and guys apparently had done. They waited for the perfect time to get her. And Mexico was perfect. Perfect. At least, at least what they thought. Until that video got released. And her mom was like, oh, no, I'm not having this. We're getting this autopsy report. No, I'm not doing this. She wasn't believing the story. And I guess they feel that her mom was just going to buy that stupid alcohol poisoning and just be done with it. That's, that wasn't the case. And it was showing up at her parents' house, acting like everything was copacetic and, and just bringing her clothes back. They, These people, are, they didn't care about her. Y'all got to understand, for someone to do something that demonic and so devilish, that means they really didn't like, they did not like this girl. They hated this girl so freaking much. They probably had hate parties in their home, drinking and talking about her like a dog. Trust me, I know, okay? Because I'm one of the most hated people on YouTube. Even though I don't speak to no one on YouTube, no one freaking knows me. They only know about my videos, and my videos is pretty much like every one video. Might have an occasional subject where I disagree with someone, but not to the point, okay, I hate her fucking guts. I mean, you don't know these celebrities. We all just guessing and assuming, but people take it serious. You know, they take it freaking serious. So I know how it feels to be hated. Trust me, okay? In this freaking case here, this girl was hated by these girls. These girls did not freaking like her. They hated her fucking guts, and they couldn't wait to snap at her. Just to humiliate her, record it, and just be happy with that. Because they hated her and they was jealous. Jealousy is a cruel feeling to have. First it starts with envy. Then it's jealousy. And then it's like, I can't stand her. When it get to that point, that means it's getting dark. You know what I mean? Only dark and weak-minded and people who are very insecure about themselves will let that even come up to their mind and feeling you have to be really bad you have to be really low to feel that much hatred towards someone who's been very nice to you because you don't have what they have i don't have a jealous bone in my body and that is where i don't have a jealous bone in my body i'm happy for anyone any everyone who i talk to talk about it, it, any celebrities i just deliver the news deliver my input pray that they come out of whatever situation they in because i'll be speaking from personal experience and read my blog and just be done with it you know what i mean but this 
poor girl, poor young lady did not deserve this. She really didn't. I couldn't even watch the video anymore because I almost cried because it was just devastating. They literally slaughtered this girl. It was, you might as well call it another Emmett Till. It was really freaking sad. These, this is really sad. She paying for this whole freaking thing and they planning to murder her ass and to take her money and then tell her mom some cockamamie story and then leave her in freaking Mexico. This is freaking sick. This is sick. This is really freaking sick. And I pray to the gods and goddess, depending on your beliefs, ugh, that justice is freaking served. For her, for Kanika Jenkins, for Tamla Horsford, yes. This should shine a light on their cases as well because theirs was similar, especially Tamla Horsford because she had a lot of bruises on her body too, but they covered it up. I did a video about her. Check that out. Yeah. And that's all I have to say about this. I'm sorry I didn't say it in the beginning of the video, but I'm glad I said it now. Tell me what you all think below. Here's a brief word from my sponsor. The world's falling apart. Every day, another shocking headline makes you wonder what tomorrow will bring. That's why those who know what's coming are using today to prepare. I'm talking about getting your family some high-quality emergency food from My Patriot Supply. My Patriot Supply is a nation's leading preparedness company. They've been in business for going on 14 years now and they've served millions of American families. Now they want to help you by giving you $50 off their popular four-week emergency food kit. Oh yes, you get four weeks of food per person with meals designed to give you more than 2,000 calories a day. By the way, this food stays fresh up to 25 years in proper storage, so it will be there when you need it. Other food goes bad first, you know what I mean? So don't wait, go to prepare with my link with the truth and claim your four-week emergency food kit. You will save fifty dollars per kit if you act now. So prepare with me at preparewithtruth.com. Don't wait. Do it today. I will try to keep you posted via my blog. The link is below. Well, that's it. Let me know what you all think below. On that note, don't forget to subscribe, share, and like, and hit that bell so you get notifications for when I do post my videos. See you all later. Love you all. Bye.